Hey everybody, it's Max here with Ducky. Thanks for joining the party. This is a super positive video. Some of you have been asking for that. I'm going to try to do more. So I thought what better way to do a super positive video than to look at Disney Descendants dolls. The best of. Now, we recently got Dizzy and it's a great thing. It's an awesome signature doll. And I want to stay positive on this, but hopefully we get more Disney Descendant dolls in the future that are of this quality. But I thought, let's take a look back at the best dolls that Disney Descendants has put out. I'm joined with Ducky. Hi. And this work, treat this as a buying guide. If you're new to Disney Descendants dolls, there's a lot of great stuff out there. Um, I think the majority of the releases are actually behind us. They're a little bit slower now, and we may not get a big flood of new dolls until this third movie. But, let's take a look at all these great dolls, and I think I covered them all. I may have missed a few, but I don't think I did. I think I got them all. We're also going to do the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is a guide to buying the dolls. But I also want to tell you which ones to stay away from. If you're new, there's a few choices out there that are not the best. There's great places to start, and we're going to give you a recommendation where to start. But first, we're going to go over and go down memory lane and look at all the dolls that have come out. And we're just going to do a quick recap because there's a lot. But actually, you went too fast, Ducky. Go back. The one on the left um, is a Disney Store version of Eevee and she's actually a little bit rare now another good thing about these dolls is the majority of them are very affordable you could get them for a reduced price online a lot of them are on Amazon so that's a great thing uh, this one on the right is a Toys R Us exclusive I believe and on the left we have Ben and this is kind of a he's easy enough to find but he's a little bit of a unique situation because he's a revision of an original doll in a second version that they just kind of threw out there not really tied to any of uh, the animated st uh, shorts or the movies he just was like a one-off but I think this is the best best version of Ben in my opinion if you agree comment below and while we're doing this we want to hear your top five and along with that in your comment, put your hidden gems in the Disney Descendant dolls and the ones you think everyone should stay away from. So this is just a great introduction to these dolls. I know a lot of you are already fans, but if you're interested, it's a great place to start. There's also, this Freddy is from the Genie Chic line and she's one of my favorites. I think this is my favorite Freddy doll. Here's a four pack. I believe this was a Walmart exclusive. Um, this one is not that special to me, and you could get every single one of these characters somewhere else. So I think if they're going to do that, they should have done something more special. Here's two Uma dolls. Um, this is the Amazon exclusive on the left, and the Cotillion on the right. Some of the better Disney Descendant 2 dolls that were released. Uh, here is a Mal that has a light-up feature with her eyes that's kind of interesting uh, in my opinion the original signature doll is a little bit better though and it's pre pretty much basically the same outfit um, here's a two pack of Mal and Ben I do like the dress in that two pack that's uh, what do you think there ducky it's cute um, I wouldn't beyond that though it's not two packs not too special that dress is pretty good quality though Here's a closer look at the Amazon exclusive, and I think, Ducky, you were a big fan of this when you reviewed it. Yeah, I really liked it. Uh, you even said maybe if you are able to obtain this, it might be a good idea just to keep it in the box, I think you were saying, right? Yeah, the box is really cool, the design and how she's posed in it on her ship. I say, in my opinion, besides the Cotillion, this is the only Uma you should get, <laughs> because the, ri the original release... Uh, was missing a little bit of those details. Here's the large 28-inch dolls. Um, 
that were released. I think the Uma is the best of the three. I like the hair on Eevee. Um, the faces look off to me. They look like they just shoehorned the Descendants characters onto an existing doll, except for the Uma. I think the Uma might be worth it. I'm not sure. What are you, your opinion on these? Um, I think they look pretty cute. The e Eevee and Mal, um, they have enough different faces that they look more like their characters. Like, it's not exactly the same face for each of them. Mm -hmm. So, I see a little bit of a resemblance there, but they look very young. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here is a four pack. Uh, I think this is another Walmart exclusive for Neon Lights Ball. Uh, now, if you didn't have any of these, this is a great way to get them. But I'm really not a fan of the four packs with only one new character. And it's Audrey on the right. And that was pretty much the only... Oh, and I think Carlos with the t-shirt. His pants are the same. That's the only thing you're really getting different there. Uh, Maleficent. And I, I have never seen this doll on the right. I don't know when it came. I know it came out for Disney Descendants too, but I completely missed this one. This is the first time I saw it. So I, I hope I got every doll. This is the Royal Fashions map. Did, did you ever see this one before? Uh, no, I haven't. I had no idea about this doll. I just randomly found it while doing research. Uh, here is Allie. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite characters. Uh, not like development character wise but as a doll my favorite Audrey Ben and Carlos and that Ben is my weakest of all the male dolls hmm. the original <laughs> yeah I think there's just better versions of them Allie I remember when we found out about her on Toy Talk, we were so excited. Yeah. Great doll. He's Here's just the image of the neon lights together. I really, I think it was a fun line. And I really like that Jane doll. It's really 80s, like super 80s. I think she's the most out of all of them. Yeah. Here's the neon lights ball of Mal and Evie. And they were unique. Um... They have like something on the belt where they had light up parts of their their outfits, mm -hmm. and I really like that Evie with her um, with the color the paint color on her shoes, the variations on her belt, and everything. There's a lot of details in there. Yeah. This is another one that I was completely surprised and I missed. Um, it's again doll companies doing that four pack with the one character you can't get anywhere else that's very hard for fans great for new people to the line but you have to spend a lot of money to get this J doll and I think the outfit's kind of cool I wish the quality is a little bit better because it has that uh, printed on t-shirt effect like tuxedo t-shirt for the jacket mm -hmm. but I like the style of it I like his hair pulled up it's nice to see a male character like that The two Disney Store exclusives, which are, I think those are some of the rarest ones. Just so you know that this is a buying guide too. So if you're interested in some of these and you want to know the rare ones, I think these two on the left are a little bit more rare. The Eevee and the Mal. I like the Eevee. The Mal is, I, I would skip that one to me personally. I don't think she's special enough. Just looks okay. Here's some of the two packs that came out for Descendants 2. I would say, if you had to pick one, we do pick one sometimes, which one would you pick? I know for sure which one I would pick, but what's yours, Ducky? Um, I would pick... Hmm. It's hard for you? Yeah. I would know right away. Because I like the Mal, but kind of like Carlos, but I think I'll go with Mal and Ben. Oh, I totally go with Carlos and Audrey. It's Jane. Oh, it's Carlos and Jane. Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I think his outfit could have been a little bit higher quality, 
but that Ben on the left just looks reminds me so much of the original Ben. I do like the dress on Mal, like you said, in the purple hair. Um, but I out of out of the two girls, I think uh, Jane looks more put together. Okay. As a complete look. Here's the Descendants. Two dolls for Ben and Evie. I love Evie's hair on that doll. And actually, this is my personal least favorite of the Descendants 2 movie dolls. Because that belt is an eyesore for me. No paint detail. And here's the great Dizzy doll that just came out. Is this signs of life for Disney Descendants? What do you think? I think she's very colorful and bright and fun. It's kind of, it's nice surprise to see they put some detail, paint detail. It's weird release date. It's like how much after the original Descendants 2 dolls, but I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And that's what spurred the creation of this video, is that doll. Um, here's that uh, Mal that changes her hair color from... Uh, purple to blonde. She flips her wig. Yes. Uh, I personally am not a fan of the doll. I, however, like that dress. Mm -hmm. It's a nice dress. The stamping dress for Evie. Uh, gimmick doll for me personally. I don't... There's so many great Evie dolls. I would pass. If you really want something unique to do with your doll, I guess that's a go for. Um, here's some basic dolls very basic there's just so many options out there though for Mal and Evie especially those two characters here's another exclusive uh, I forget where this may be Toys R Us exclusive is a neon lights ball Evie and Ben that's kinda weird <laughs> maybe I missed the uh, animated short where they were dancing or something I have no idea why they're together what do you think of that Ben doll um, he's very bright, so <laughs> I'm not sure I, I like those colors, but, you know, it fits with neon. The one, I, I'm not personally a fan of either of these dolls, but the guy's thing is, it's an exclusive that actually has two very exclusive outfits. You really don't see these outfits anywhere else. Yeah. They're not even similar to other outfits. Mm-hmm. Here is the original Eevee, and I put... Now, I really wanted to cover all the dolls. I may have put repeats in there a few times. This is the Disney Store version of Mal. Mm -hmm. And here's the Toys R Us exclusive. And this is another one. When we found out at Toy Talk, we were so excited. And I don't think we were let down. It's a great two-pack. Mm -hmm. I would love to see more two-packs with the parents. Um, sad to say, I do not foresee it happening. Especially... With the direction of the Descendants 2 movie, I like the movie, but the parents were not as much as a focus as the original one. Yeah. So I don't foresee it happening. Uh, here's some great Eevee dolls. More great Eevee dolls. Freddy? We gotta go quick here now. Jane or Aud Audrey? Jane. Jane, sorry. Jane and Jay and that's the one with the hat mm -hmm. <laughs> they actually released the first version of him and there's a version with a, a cheaply made beanie cap mm -hmm. which really goes why couldn't you include that to begin with but um, here is some what's her name Jordan Jordan I like the first Jordan a lot and uh, man I'm missing the names now Mulan's daughter. Yeah, but what's her name? I can't remember. Oh! I can't remember. Please correct us in the comments. I really like her doll, though. Mm hmm I really like her doll, especially the signature one. Some more Mal. Neon lights. CJ Hook! Now, this was a travesty that she is so hard to find because she's one of the better signatures. And... I'm keeping this video positive, but she was really first signs of the industry going away towards signature dolls when they limited her release. I wouldn't be as heartbroken as if they replaced her with Harry Hook 
But they didn't. There's no Harry Hook doll. Okay. Now, we've re reached the, the towards the end part of the video where we're going to do our top five best dolls of all the Disney Descendant dolls released so far. This is the very end of 2017. Just so you know. If you're watching this in the future. And then, hidden gems. Some really cool hidden gems in the Descendants doll line that we think you should look out for. They may be, now this does not keep price into consideration, so they may be harder to find, but keep on the lookout. And then the ugly. If you're new to Disney Descendants, I'd say stay away from these dolls. There's much better options. Let's get to the top five. Number five. And this is Ducky's one of Ducky's favorites. What is it? Amazon collectible Uma. Yes. If you could find this doll for a reasonable price, go for it. This is one of the best Uma dolls. Number four. I think Dizzy. Dizzy? She's that's great. A new doll making the list. She's great. There, I mean, there's room, a little, slight room for improvement. Maybe her size, she could nope, have been a little bit nope, shorter. No, nope. Well, Ducky says she's perfect. Yeah. In my opinion, she's great. Maybe if she was a little different mold, a little shorter, in the apron. That's the only things I could think of. Well, she can, she takes the apron off. True, but it would be even more dynamic. Number three. Allie. What a great doll. It's great to, that outfit design is awesome. She has cloth stockings. The fabric of her dress is good quality. It may even be slightly embroidered. She has nice little earrings, the bow on her shoes, and um, the watch and the bow on her head. Great details. Number two. This is just one. But it's the one on the right. I really enjoy that Eevee from Neon Lights Ball. She was a little bit higher price point, but she has a great light up feature. And I think the thing that really put it over the edge that we wanted to include her in this top five is those awesome shoes with the color variation and the faux fur around her neck, along with a great outfit and a nice feature that is a gimmick feature, but it works. It's a nice gimmick feature, a nice gimmick doll. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> Number one. I think, and me, me and Ducky agreed on this as our number one. If you're gonna start, if you haven't got this doll and you're a fan, get it now. It's Toys R Us exclusive. But if you're gonna start anywhere, this is the best place to start. Is the original Mal and Maleficent 2-pack. Awesome, awesome two-pack. One of the greatest two-packs ever. They should do more like this. Okay, now we're going to go over some hidden gems. CJ. Great doll. Definitely a hidden gem. She's hard to find. She had limited quantities. And you're going to have to search for her. I think she might be worth it, though. Now this is just for the Eevee on the left, the Disney Store Eevee. Very unique outfit, one of a kind. It's not very similar to any of her outfits, and it's quality. It's an exclusive outfit for an ex exclusive store, Disney Store, and it's good quality. That's rare. Look out for that Eevee. And then here's some hidden gems that are fortunately reasonably priced. This one-off Ben, who's a revision, who has a great outfit one of the best outfits for him i love that jacket with the little button mm -hmm. and it's it's like it's not like super high quality button but it's not printed on wow and freddy from genie chic i really love this doll um it's a great version of freddy and both of these are very reasonably priced so those are some uh hidden gems with some great clearance prices now the ugly if you're starting with disney descendants these are a few recommendations to stay away because basically there's just better options out there basic eevee and mal 
this release was not needed at all. There are so many versions of Eevee and Mal that are such better quality that you could probably get cheaper than these two. Skip, total skip for me. This four pack, if you're gonna do a four pack and exclusive for a store, make it special. There is a better version of every single one of these characters. Unless you're looking for this for a bargain price and don't get it, skip it. And unfortunately, it's expensive because it was an exclusive. I'd say stay away. And that's really where we wrap the end of this top five um, best of buying guide. A great place to start for Disney Descendants. And here's also, if you stayed to the end of the video, please comment below. And if you want to see another episode in the future, maybe Ever After High, maybe Monster High, comment below. What do you want as a checklist best of video? Thanks for watching. Thank you guys. Bye.